Welcome to Learning Bites. We're exploring seven sales headaches and how you can overcome them. And what I want to do is pick up on where we were last week and explore the headache of a lack of interest, which leads to your poor customer engagement. You can often see the problem in your poor conversion rates, but more so in your customers not making themselves available for you, not engaging with you when you're asking questions, not coming back or not being there when you go and have meetings with them. For many reps, this is a great cause of frustration in the role that they do. The problem often comes from not adding enough value to the customer when you do connect with them. You want to make absolutely sure that the client sees you as a trusted advisor, sees you as somebody who adds value to them. The problem can also come up from your reps not being really clear on the value you add to customers, your point of difference, and sometimes focusing too much on getting the next sale rather than focusing on the customer's success. A potential solution for this is to make sure that your reps prepare well before they go into meetings, that your customer service people, your, your client facing team members are well prepared with the questions that they need to ask, that they are fully focused on the customer when they're talking to them and that they're not distracted, that they're giving them 100% of their intention to lift that engagement. Another potential solution is to make sure that your team is curious, that they want to uncover and discover what is it that this customer wants and how can they help them to be successful, to get the outcomes that they want. Make sure your team have key questions that they can ask that will be able to bring those facts out so that you can set yourself up really well to help the customers achieve the results they want. Some questions to ask yourself. Do you know why customers choose you? What your point of difference is that appeals to them? Have you got clearly listed questions that your team knows they need to ask if they're gonna find out as much as they can about the customer? Do your sales team prepare well before they go into meetings, making sure that they've got a clear purpose, that they know how they're adding value to the client and clear next steps in what they're doing? Do your team make sure that they are listening and reflecting back to a customer what they've heard before they go and tell them what solution that they've got to fix the problem for the client? Are your team asking the client through the process whether they feel heard, whether you're on track, whether you're solving and answering the questions that they need answered. Some actions that you can take. Ensure that every single client contact has a clear purpose, that you are looking to add value to the client and that you are clear on what the ideal next step is, whether that's getting in contact with them, whether it's giving them some additional information, getting the opportunity to quote, maybe getting a sale, whatever the ideal next step is. Focus on building relationships through your sales process, not just aiming to get the next sale. And as you do that, what you'll find is that you will engage more with the customer and they're far more likely to want to engage with you and to make the time to see you and to meet with you and to share with you. I trust that this adds to your teams and their effectiveness, here's to your success. Thanks so much for watching. If any of this resonated and you'd like to reach out, feel free to give me a call on 0272 987 523 or email me at mike at thinkright.co.nz or if you'd like some additional resources, go to our website www.thinkright.co.nz